Even though the recent tsunami has claimed hundreds of thousands in human life, no single animal corpses were found in the most severely affected areas like India, Sri Lanka, or Thailand. Animals' feelings and senses are almost always stronger than those of human beings. If a human being's observation of animals is strong, they might perceive an early sign of a natural disaster. The sensitive person might have the chance to escape from the tragedy. In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo is named for Leonardo da Vinci, who was notorious for encoding the mathematical value of pi into his pieces. The Last Supper portrait, as Mr. Katsi has shown, may indirectly symbolize the pyramids at Giza, which in turn represents the three Masonic pillars and the 9-11 mega ritual event. He has been spotted on the roof of the World Trade Center. <laughs> it's for sure he's not there for the view. And here's Baxter Stockholm, a fly slash bee, using the towers to open up a portal to Dimension X. This should create a giant force field between the two towers. In the Ninja Turtles movie that recently came out, the central theme was galactic alignment. The same sort of premise movies like The Dark Crystal revolved around. Jim Henson was in my opinion an initiate of the Illuminati and knew very factually of the great shift in consciousness and the aligning of the constellations that was coming in 2012. The Dark Crystal dealt heavily with the dichotomy or Gemini-like nature of the split human soul. In the film, the galactic alignment symbolized the reunification of the dual halves of the human spirit. Psychedelic pioneers Pink Floyd tapped into science fiction consciousness back in 1967 with the release of Astronomy Domini, a simple summoning of British comic book hero Dan Dare. Time and space traveler Dare will resurface this November as billionaire Richard Branson's Virgin Comics has resurrected the series. The winged cherubs in The NeverEnding Story play the role of the Oracles of Enlightenment. Very much like the Oracle in The Matrix, they tell you exactly what you want to hear. Sort of your inner dialogue spoken aloud by another party. But the true test is what spiritual path you take. A test every human being will have to take for themselves during this time of genetic evolution. You must face yourself to become the butterfly. These golden cherubs are also seen atop the Ark of the Covenant. Royal jelly is a secretion from glands in the heads of worker bees that is used in the first four days of feeding for a new larvae. When a queen is required by the hive, a hatchling will receive only royal jelly as nourishment. This in turn triggers the development of reproductive organs and other queen morphology. Unlike other bees, the queen will feed only upon royal jelly throughout her life. The lifespan of worker bees is one season, while the queen will live for four to five years. So why the hexagon? Why do bees have the ability to sense hyperdimensional etheric energy? Why have they been disappearing lately? There have been articles printed that a virus is killing them all, but in my opinion they are simply hypersensitive to earth vibration. And as we approach the galactic center, energies of the earth grid will become five to ten times more photonically and geometrically advanced. Perhaps the bees sense this. Perhaps they are warning us of a great change with their absence. Perhaps we should listen. Solomon's Temple. Even today, factions search and fight over the location or proof of the existence of the legendary and very sacred site in Jerusalem. Like most of these legends, they exist on a symbolic level. Was the construction of the temple merely figurative and not literal? 
does the legend have more to do with enlightenment and building an inner spiritual balance than it does with possible Templar treasure? Another clue to the secret of the temple is the discovery that the word Baphomet is derived from the Latin words for the Temple of Solomon. And Baphomet, the head, is what the Knights Templar were accused of worshipping. Baphe means immersion and metis means wisdom. Therefore, Baphomet is the immersion of oneself into wisdom. It is the true temple. Milk and honey were the dietary staples for the Israelites of biblical times. A land abundant with goats and bees would then be considered a promised land, or the land of milk and honey. In ancient Egypt, milk and honey were used in medical treatments and religious ritual. Milk, it was thought, should never be far from the mouths of the dead. Honey was the lord of offerings and celestial food, for it is sweet to the heart. It opens the flesh, knits together the bones, gathers together all the parts of the body, and the dead drink the smell of it. Reserved for royalty, unspoiled pots of honey have been found in tombs by archaeologists. As Horace looks at New York City from his enormous pyramid spaceship, we see the land of milk and honey join with the land of the Temple Mount. And just for you, Jake, in resonance with the 9-11 Giza connection, bees in hyperdimensional physics, we see Horace in a Christ-like fashion extend his arms and send the helicopters spiraling to their doom in dual pillars of flame. Yet another symbolic construct of how the 9-11 event resonates in the consciousness of the Akashic Records and creates this reality around us. He says that in 2012, a serpent rope is going to come out of the central spiritual sun, the center of our Milky Way galaxy. And nine enlightened god beings are going to emerge from this serpent rope. And they do contain wisdom. There's no question about it. When the, when the astronauts in the first Apollo missions first blasted into Earth's orbit, they had to have special shields designed for them because these cosmic rays kept pinging off their retina and when they did that, they started hallucinating symbols. The very same symbols that had been drawn on ancient rocks going back to 50,000 years in Australia and appear throughout various mythological uh, systems including that of the Illuminati. That's weird. I didn't it's, know that. It's incredibly weird that at the time as we align with the central spiritual sun, the Mayan prophecies and others say there will be a new light. And this comes out of the Bible, too. There will be a light that enlightens every man. And contained within this light is a symbol system. And it turns out, and this is what gets even stranger, George, when anthropologists and others looked into this, they came to the conclusion that these symbols are not only emerging from the central sun, they are also hardwired into our DNA. Look at that. What? Have you ever seen the air so clear? <laughs> 